Hi everyone, Melissa Gross here for Big Picture Classes in the Library of Memories community. Today I'm sharing with you in story time my book, The ABCs of My Life, from 1987 until 2001. Basically what happened, how this book came about, is I had a large number of photos for those 13 years of my life, from the time that I graduated from high school until I met my husband. Honestly, there were a lot of really good memories during those years, but there were some bad memories as well, some difficult memories as I had been divorced during that time. All of these photos were in photo albums. Some of them could have been considered photo album scrapbooks. I had actually started a scrapbook um, for part of these years. And I really wanted to go through those photos and just create an album that represented those years. So I started with a large number of photos for this project. And believe it or not, this was long before Library of Memories, but the first thing that I did was exactly what we do in Library of Memories. I took that stack of photos and I purged and I rated and I organized those photos. I had a little file drawer that I had letters A through Z and as I would find a picture that I thought would go with one of the letters, I slipped it in that slot. A lot of the photos went into cold storage, Some, a good bit of the photos went into the trash, and then there were actually some photos that I knew I would probably want to scrapbook someday, and I have since that time also scrapbooked some layouts from these years. Now, once I set up my library of memory system, I went back through my cold storage and integrated a lot of those extra photos into my category drawers so that they show up in connections, layouts, and different things now. So let's take a look at my book. The ABCs of my life. The first thing I did was create a title page where I basically just stated what this is. This book is um, the good memories from those particular years in my life. And I put the dates that I created it. This project took me a year and a half. Not because it took very long to put the album together, but because going through those photos was a little bit of an emotional experience for me. So um, it took longer to put this together. I would just take breaks. And we also moved to a different city and a new home during that time. Now, you may not have a group of pictures from the bad years of your life, but maybe you have a large uh, group of photos from uh, 10 years and you want to do something with those but not necessarily scrap every single photo. Maybe you have a huge trip, one of those trips of a lifetime where you went around the world and you want to do a fun album for that. Maybe you have a huge group of photos from family reunions over the years and you want to put them all together and label uh, characteristics of the different people. So you, your situation will be different, but this would be a great project for a huge amount of photos that you want to go through and um, make a memento for. So after my title page, since this was 13 years for me, basically what I did is I took one photo of me from each of those years and just kind of as an introduction. And that is that little skinny person um, way back then. That's me. And I went through the big hair phase, which I absolutely loved, and right on till 2001. So I just took one photo that kind of represented each year for me. And then I started with my letters. I made a two-page spread for each of the letters. I took those photos that I had in my little file drawer and I added the word, for example, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but this photo, the word is autograph because here I am getting the autograph of a baseball player at a baseball game. And this particular one right here is Acura because at the time I owned an Acura Integra. You'll notice on this page I also included some memorabilia. So right here, this is my season pass to Astro World. I went to Astro World 13 times one summer and this was my season pass. Now obviously that's a huge story and since then I have made a scrapbook layout about that summer. I took a different child, nieces and nephews and other children with me that year one at a time from two and a half years old and to up to 18 years old. So that was a different story and that has been scrapbooked separately but this documents that it was during this time of my life. Another piece of memorabilia over here, this is a birth announcement um, and so I just use the word announcement for when one of my nieces was born. So you can see that I cropped the photos and put as many photos on a page as I could because this was a large number of years and I had a lot of photos that I wanted to use. Here's another example, um, the bees. This one here is a collection of bells that I had at the time. I no longer collect bells, but it was a big part of my life for many years. And so I just cropped a picture of them. They were in the background of another picture. 
and just um, made words. You can see here a birthday party, so this one represents birthday, and I did add a few little things here and there, but mostly there's not a single piece of pattern paper in here. There's cardstock, and there are these great letter stickers. I'm pretty sure Mrs. Grossman's features prominently. So I just went through and did this. Now you'll notice on the A and the B page there were a lot of photos, but some letters, I have to tell you right up front before you start this project, are a lot more difficult. So if you look here on the E page, you'll notice the number of photos are a lot less, and so I did not crop them as much because I did want to cover the entire page, but E was a hard letter for me. Um, I also, another thing I wanted to point out is that I used some bad photos. This was all during the years of film photo. This particular photo right here looks like it's just this tree, but if you were looking at it very close, there's an outline image of me right here and an outline image of me right here because the exposure was messed up on this particular photo. So I just used that for the word exposure since that starts with E. Um, here's another one that starts with an E, Enron Field. Obviously this was before the Enron scandal because it's um, no longer called that. I think it's Minute Maid Stadium or something like that now. So I used um, just a variety of words. Some of them are verbs like eat. Some of them are holidays like Easter. So I just um, went through and chose words for each letter. Now I did, as I was going through all of these photos, find that, okay, behind the B tab or the N tab or those easy letters, I had a lot of photos. So sometimes I would have to take some out and try to make them fit in with other letters. This particular one, Q, was very difficult. I don't know about you, but I don't have anyone in my family. Their name starts with Q, and I didn't have a lot of Q words to work with. However, I come from a long line of quilters, and so I just used the word quilt and did a whole page of quilts that my mom or my grandmother or my sister made during those years. So I don't know if that's a little bit of a cheat, but it worked for me. Um, again, this was um, you know, a fun project. But it did take some time uh, thinking about it. Sometimes it had to be very creative. Here's the X page. Um, again, I don't know a lot of words that start with X, so I was kind of creative here and used X excitement, X stream, um, X Y Z. A little picture of my niece here standing in front of my refrigerator where I kept A B C letters for the kids to play with. So sometimes you have to be creative. Another example here on the Y page, I had gone to New York during these years, and so rather than putting that under the N for new, I put it under the Y for York because I had plenty of photos under the Ns. I have nieces and nephews, and two of my nieces' names start with N, so I didn't need anything else to fill in that page, so I actually put that here under Y. And again, I did a little bit of a cheat. My favorite color is yellow. If you've been around my blog or around BPC, you probably already know that. So I actually did one whole uh, page with just photos of me um, and the color yellow because that is just something that's part of my life. And then I just did a one page spread at the very end for the Z's and I just have people sleeping on that page. So this book, if you think about it, really it's all about me. But for those years, it includes all of the people I love. I made sure to include um, everyone in my family. I mean, I went through and put their name and made sure for the letter of their name that they had a picture in here. It also includes all the places I went. I made sure to capture at least one photo from every trip that I took or different place that I went that was important. And it also incorporates the things that I did during those years. There are holidays, there are graduations, pictures of me at the jobs I had, pictures of the things were important like my cars and the bill. All of those things are included in here and so it's a great representation. I have to tell you right up front, this was a lot of work to do. It was a lot of work to go through those photos. It was a lot of work to decide on words and put them in order by um, ABCs. But I absolutely love, love, love this book and the way that it came out. And for those of you who are worried that there's no story documented here, I know that you probably can't see this on the video, but the I did record information for each one of these photos. So along the matting, typically of each photo, I have a little bit of documentation. So for example, this is my grandma, and this was her 71st birthday, and I have the date down here. So it is not that you're just looking through a group of photos and there's nothing there. This is a picture of my niece, and I use the word look 
because she's sitting on a little stool and she's looking out this glass door and I noted here around the edge that was something that she loved to do when she came to visit and it's one of the things that I remember so I wanted that documented. So there is a story documented of my life for these 13 years in this album. I hope you've enjoyed a peek at the ABCs of My Life album and I hope you'll be inspired maybe to create your own ABC album. Um, if you're not quite ready to do that, but you want to start collecting pictures, remember you can always put together an ABC file, one of Stacy's extras, in the Finding Photo Freedom classroom. Thanks for watching and happy scrapping.